I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Hmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh? What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. Sacrificing one's own money for the sake of others. That's not something anyone can do. Perhaps it's a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. 
thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. with Aiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart, and seeing him like that finally helped her realize. Yeah, I'm relieved she didn't get caught in his web. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. No, that's not it. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. For now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. You're right. I will need an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. I'm glad you think so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. It must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can, because I have you. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. 
thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> what a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. I will. The objective is the same after all. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. So you see, uh, um. Well, I was thinking, maybe we could study some things we don't have experience in yet. Would that be okay? I want to be with you. We still have some time before night falls. <laughs> 